Hello and welcome to another video. Now, as you've seen from the title of this video, all is not well in uh, Camp Bongo. Um, yeah, so it's uh, failed its MOT. I'll show you the uh, the failure certificate here. Yeah, not looking good. I've got, I think, look, they've even put it in highlighter. Oh, cheeky buggers. And it is a uh, repair immediately, major defects. Oh my God. Um, so they were all welding. Uh, so I've had sort of vehicle structure corroded um, this is all behind the front wheel arches and one spot that was, I say spot, hole in the sill just behind the wheel arch on the driver's side. Anyway, knackered. It's knackered, that's what it is. So I've got to fix it. I've got 10 days to do it um, because then it can go back in for the retest without having to pay any more money. Yeah, let's have a look what the, uh, the damage is and hopefully get this repaired and get it passed through its MOT. So let's have a look. So I've got the van into the back garden again and I've taken the wheel off as you can see and we're just looking around this front arch. Let's just have a quick look at that damaged area. Yikes, that does not look good. But we'll come back to that in a minute. The first thing I've got to do is take off this plastic kind of cover. Um, there's lots of little black plastic plugs uh, to remove this. Right, the arch liner is out and I'm just going to inspect the inside of that uh, archway just to make sure there's no trapped mud in there. There's a big glob of mud just over there. That's not too bad. So let's get on and let's take a look at the damaged area. And oh my gosh, that does not look good. Um, as you can see, the MOT tester has drawn a little chalk outline in case I did not spot it. Um, so this is as bad as it's ever going to look. It looks very rusty, but I think this is uh, not too bad a job to do. So what we're going to do is clean this all up first with an angle grinder. So once that's all cleaned up and I've cut some of the metal back, as you can see, just to try and get back to it as good a metal as possible. Um, I'm going to treat the inside next because the inside of that cavity does not look very good. Um, so I'm just going to hoover it all out and then I'll take a wire brush to it and try and get as much loose rust off as I can. And then what I'll do is actually rust convert all that and I'll spray it with a stone chip paint and then I'll actually put uh, uh, like an under seal inside. I'm actually using a new under seal called Tetra Seal. Um, so giving that a go, I'm going to paint it all inside and make it look all beautiful. So there we are, that looks a lot nicer. Um, I'm pretty happy with that. I think I've got all the rusty bits I can find. Um, what I'll do as well at the end, once I've actually finished all the prep and actually everything's welded, I'm actually gonna spray inside there with a cavity sealer. It's good. I think it's called Denitriol. It's like a cavity wax sealer. So that'll be like the final step for this whole thing. So I've just got to let that dry and because this is the van that keeps on giving and you know just wants to make my day a little bit brighter I'm going to go on the other side and we're going to look at the damage on the other side now and here we go it doesn't look quite as bad as the uh, that first side it's just a couple of patches there but this isn't the whole story on this side because there's more damage underneath good lord you can really go off a van can't you so underneath here is, well, that's if I can get under. Yeah, there we go. So um, this is quite a common area to rust out, this is. So um, always check your bongos in this area if you need to. I actually repaired the same kind of patch on the other side about a year or so ago. Um, as you can see, this is actually taken a whole chunk out of there and quite a bit of the sill material as well. So that needs all patching up. Um, so uh, yeah, it's not the easiest place to get into without any ramps, but I'm gonna have to get on and do it. But for now, let's get back to the side and start creating the metalwork. And I've created a little cardboard template. Um, pretty simple this side. Um, it's actually quite easy to access over here with that wheel out. So it's, it's not a bad little job, this one. Um, so I've been to B&Q and bought a sheet of steel, which is pretty cheap from there. It's only one millimeter thick, that's all you need. And I've cut the shape out and begun the welding process. Now I'm by no means a professional, so this is uh, you know as good as it's going to get. So I just laid down a load of single tacks. Um, this this metal on these bongos is really hard to weld when it's in that kind of rusty state. Um, then go back and keep going in between each tack until you kind of build up a full seam of weld, and that's basically the the technique which I do. Um, and I've just got to go down that right hand side. And you know, it's not looking too bad. I think that's all right. Um, I actually struggled to get a ground clamp for my welder. As you see, they've welded one on. Um, but that's it. I think I've got all the way around. And next thing I'll do is I shall actually give it a little spray up because I don't want it rusting out overnight. And that's looking pretty good. So that's got a, just a layer of stone chip paint on there just to prevent it from rusting any further. And uh, just an extra layer of protection, really. 
So now that's done, I think the best thing to do now is to go back over to the other side. So as you can see, I've already started preparing this side as well and I've ground everything back and I've chopped um, quite a lot of the metal work out. So um, just getting rid of all the rusty uh, metal that was in there and it's not looking too bad. I don't think that's gonna be too hard to do. And on the inside, I've done the same thing. I've just kept preparing and I've got some sill material left over from last time. Uh, from Bongo Spares. I didn't actually use any of it so this, that's what this piece of metal is so that kind of gave me a bit of a head start. As you can see everything's sprayed in that kind of grey uh, uh, primer paint that's actually a weld through primer and here we go I've already started welding about to jump ahead like I say I'm at a bit of a time constraint here um, so this is going pretty well this one um, I'm pretty happy with how that's uh, already progressing and I uh, just keep welding keep welding away so you'll notice there on the left hand side that white looking blanket thing that's actually a fire blanket um, I'm just covering up all the plastic hoses which are really close to there so the welder will probably just weld straight through them um, if you get a splatter onto them so I didn't want to risk that and I think that's the best thing to use. So back around to the front again and I have welded two plates onto that area that I prepared earlier um, as you can see there's a few holes blown through maybe should have cut a bit more out but hey that'll do for now. So this is the final um, stage now. I've actually tetra sealed absolutely everything. As you can see, that's looking nice and sealed up. Now, if you notice there, there's some mud guards there. The old ones were kind of wrecked, so I've made some new ones. Um, this is out of some tread plate rubber that I got from Halfords. I think it was six pounds for like a kind of like a square of it, and that did one for each side. Um, so they look pretty good. And as you can see, there's new plastic uh, trim parts there. Um, I've used loads of them. Like I say, I'll put a link in the description to the set that I got. I had tons of them in it. I think at all different sizes. It was like 10 quid, so it was ideal. And round to the other side, and it's the same story over this side. Um, I've made a new mud guard and everything's been tetra sealed. So I've given it like two or three coats of that under seal. Um, and it's looking pretty good. So I hope that works out well. Um, and the same thing for underneath. Now the difference when you get it finished it with the with the final under seal is, is amazing really um, compared to how nasty it looked before but I think that looks all right I think that's uh, that's going to do pretty well as you can see all them plastic pipes now uh, on the left hand side um, yeah so I think everything's done as far as I can do it and yeah I think we'll uh, leave that here for now and see how well this does. So after all that welding and all that work and effort, um, did it pay off? Well, let's have a look, shall we? I took it in literally yesterday and yes, I got a pass. So that passed and I've got no other advisory, so I'm back to a clean sheet again. Um, so there we go, folks. Even though I've, I've had a clean sheet for three years, it doesn't really matter. It can just rust before your very eyes. So you're worth doing like a good check over every now and then. I knew that area was gonna fail, I'll be honest with you. I've been saying it for a few months and I should really have just got on and done it before. So this is a bit of a kick up the butt to, to get it done. And I'm pleased that it kind of failed really because it did make me do that area and didn't realize how bad the other side was with the sill. So that's fair enough, uh, needs repairing. Um, yeah, I did it fairly cheaply. I think in the end it only cost me about for all the bits I bought was about 45 quid, something like that. Um, and I've still got probably half of everything left. So um, really, let's call it like 20, 25 quid or something. So pretty cheap if you've got all the equipment, you know, I have, you know I've got the welder, I've got all the stuff. Um, so, you know, that's the kind of advantage of kind of constantly doing things to your bongo. So one thing I mentioned during uh, when I was doing the welding was the plastic kind of clip set that I bought. Um, this is it, I bought it from Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description to this, uh, but I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I've always wanted something like this because there's always been kind of holes where, you know, certain parts are like the plastic trim and you always need something um, to kind of clip it all back on with. And this came with lots of different sizes. I thought it was really useful for bongo owners to have a look at this. There's all kinds of different ones. Um, you know, they're basically like a clip most of them are like this kind of style, but different different kind of sizes. Basically a plug that goes in and then kind of what looks like a little screw type thing. I don't know if you can see that, so it's like that. And then like a little screw bit that goes inside it and then like that. And there's all lots of different sizes for these. Um, so it's a pretty good set. So I use kind of like 
I don't know, I've probably used about 20 of these. Um, there's some that are just a push-in style as well. There's a bag of those somewhere. And there's one that's like little rubber washers. I don't know if they're ever useful. But what also comes in the set is these little tools for like, you know, getting bits of trim off. And I thought that was pretty handy actually. I've not actually opened uh, these ones here. So this is like a plastic set. Um, I thought I'd open it up and have a look, didn't I really? Get rid of that. Oh, these are pretty nifty. Look, so there's all all kinds of different ones. So these are great for plastic, perfect for plastic trims because then, uh, you know, you can just lever, lever things off. <laughs> I could do that all day. And they're pretty nifty. Yeah, they're really good. Wish I'd had these before because I can get these like on the side door and things. I can uh, peel that trim off a lot easier because that's always a bit of a bit of a pain getting some of them things off. So that's going to be a really cool thing. And if this was only. Um, 9.99 for this so i thought that was pretty decent like um i've like so i put a link it is an affiliate link so if you do click it i'll earn like a tiny commission off it but you won't pay any more um but yeah so there you go i think uh i think that is well worth it i think but it says 200 uh, pieces in the set so lots to go out there so cool all in all you know i'm pretty happy with that and uh you know get to ride for another year in the bongo so i'm pretty stoked about that so that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.